Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for taking your time to listen to our tram track journey. My name is Dr. Daniel Heath, and this work was done in collaboration with Dr. Tao Huang, and we're both members of the biomedical engineering department. Specifically, we're focusing on the design and development of antimicrobial selenium nanoparticles. The individual in this picture has recently undergone a knee transplant. And as we can see, the implant has become infected. This is a major healthcare challenge. In the US alone, more than 2 million patients per annum suffer from an infected biomedical device. And of those, 90,000 people will die. It's estimated that this has a cost of more than $25 billion in the US alone. And the patient suffers from severe pain, need for revision surgeries, amputation, and possibly death. Our purpose is to create infection-proof implants to improve the clinical, clinical success of surgeries and to ensure that infection does not impair a patient's quality of life. And we want to do this by providing anti-infective coatings for biomedical devices that prevent the onset of infection in the first place. Our technology has significant advantages to competitors, including antibiotics and silver. The timer for antibiotics is rapidly dwindling due to the onset of antimicrobial resistance, meaning that next generation antimicrobials need to be developed urgently. While silver has broad spectrum antimicrobial activities, it is also toxic towards mammalian cells. Our product, which is based on selenium nanoparticles, kills more than eight different types of bacteria, both gram positive and gram negative, and many of them are already drug resistant. It's cytocompatible with human cells at these antibacterial doses, illustrating a therapeutic window. And bacteria are much less able to develop resistance to our materials compared to antibiotics or to silver, meaning that the lifetime of this antimicrobial technology is significantly longer. Additionally, we have patent protection on this technology. At the beginning of our tram track journey, we thought that every biomedical device company would be interested in our technology. However, it turns out that they were not. We spoke to 27 members in the biomedical device ecosystem that lie somewhere along the commercialization pathway, from fundamental researchers, to patent lawyers, to business developers, to device manufacturers, to reimbursement agencies, regulatory consultants, and surgeons. What we found is that biomedical device-related infection is a major healthcare challenge. However, we needed to find the appropriate market. Initially, we thought that the key driving force was going to be the likelihood of a device getting infection. As such, we thought that contact lenses would not be a good choice because the likelihood of infection is small, while things like peritoneal catheters or wound dressings would be a good market of choice because the likelihood of infection is significantly higher. However, what we found is that we also need to consider the consequences of the infection. So for instance, standard orthopedic implants, such as knees and hips, have a relatively low rate of infection, maybe around 1%. However, the consequences of infection to the patient are significantly higher. And what we've done is we have identified a rather niche market of customized orthopedics. So these are, say, for instance, orthopedic implants that a patient receives after tumor resection and reconstruction. And these are have a very high likelihood of infection, around 50%, and the consequences of that infection are quite high. So therefore, we believe that this is the niche market that we should focus on as an early adopter of our technology because they feel the greatest pain. During our journey, we have gained a much better understanding of the commercialization pathway. At the beginning, we knew much about conceptualization, proof of concept, prototyping, sterilization, scalability, all of the technical aspects of biomedical device translation, However, we lacked knowledge on market analysis, clinical trials, regulatory approvals, reimbursement, surgeon uptake, all of the business side things. So we were able to gain a much deeper appreciation and understanding for these items. Looking forward, we would like to conduct more customer interviews, specifically with orthopedics, catheters, and wound dressing companies to ensure that we've identified the appropriate market. And we're also looking to build our team with additional skills uh, in marketing, business, feasibility and validation of business plans. So that way we can progress into the tram runway program. So if you're interested in joining our team, please do contact us. Additionally, we're interested in talking with individuals with skills in preclinical and clinical assessment so that we can better inform the design of our animal trials and move on to first in human trials. If you're interested in learning more or if you're interested in joining our team, please give us contact. My name is Dr. Daniel Heath. I'm on Twitter at Dr. Daniel Heath and my email address is listed there along with Dr. Tao Huang's. Thank you very much.